Week two of the LCK KSV, the only team yet to drop a series. Africa coming off an 0-2 drubbing at the hands of King Zone. Ambition pulling out the Rangar in this one. Africa take a poke comp with Nidalee and a Zoe. 14 minutes in, Spirit shows some love to the bottom lane. Tucson knocks up Core JJ with the Fates call. They focus the Tom Kench. Cuve drops the cannon barrage to slow them down. But Kramer and Spirit sync up the double fadeaway. First Blood Africa. Jump to 33 minutes. There's still only three kills in this game. But Africa has a 4K gold lead. Look at the health bars on KSV. This poke comp is gross. They're forced back. Free Baron for Africa. A few minutes later, they grab an Elder Dragon too. Why not? It's 37 minutes and all KSV have in this game is a single Ocean Drake. 41 minutes. Oh boy, here we go. Keen in a 1v3 chase down. He flashes into the brush, but Ruler follows and there it is. It took 41 minutes, but KSV have themselves a kill. Unfortunately, doing all of that, the rest of Afrika are on Baron. True Shot Barrage is actually really close to stealing it, but another Baron for the Freaks. Six minutes later, Afrika would be able to close it out with a 14k gold lead and only four kills in a 47 minute game. I hope these poke comps aren't in every game. Game two, Haru subs in for Ambition after a loss. Very interesting. He takes the Jax and this time it's Crown on the Zoe. Six minutes in, Tucson lands the two-man pulverize. Keen drops a cannon barrage on top. Ruler uses stopwatch, but that's not enough. First blood over to Kramer. 25 minutes now, Spirit hiding in the brushes. He jumps on Crown, who makes him drowsy, flashes out of the galley ult, and crushes him with the paddle star and the help of Haru. Keen's ult just misses, and Crown dances around on the outside, but here comes the true shot barrage. Kramer for three. Afrika up 3k. 37 minutes, Afrika on the Baron. Tucson zones out KSV. He eventually goes down, but they get the Baron, and they call Worth. 43 minutes, fight around Elder. Crown gets popped early. Afrika grab the dragon and roll that over into another Baron. They're almost up 9,000 gold. North of 50 minutes now, scrapping KSV's jungle. Nice cannon barrage by Keen. Haru jumps on Kramer, but Ezreal lives. Spirit assassinates Crown before getting his GA popped. Kramer finishes off Haru and Spirit flashes out. Tucson goes down, ends in a two for one for Afrika. They turn it into another Baron and another Elder Dragon. 57 minutes now. Afrika with three inhibs. They're trying to end it. Crown gets knocked back and popped, but Kuru follows. Haru forces Kramer's flash and this Jax just won't die. Finishes off Keen and gets out. Somehow, KSV hold their base. Couple minutes later, Afrika continue to dominate the map. They'd grab yet another Elder Dragon and Baron, and we've got ourselves another 60-minute game, season eight, please. Now 70 minutes, Afrika finally go to end. Nexus exposed, the player cams are up. This one's over, but wait. Haru drops Kramer, just hit the Nexus, Afrika. Nexus down to 25%, only Kuro is left, but he uses his E, why? One last auto and the Nexus survives with 31 health. 31 health, one auto attack. They don't end the game and the death timers are massive. That's it, Afrika had a 10K gold lead and five Barons in the game and they lose. They have to play another game. Game three, I don't know how you follow that one up. Haru still in the lineup on Rangar this time versus Spirit's Kha'Zix. Spirit and Kuro dive onto Ruler. He has no chance to live. First blood to the castle win. But Haru and Crown are coming. Rangar destroys Kramer before Taric ult even comes in and KSV decide, well, let's keep chasing. Spirit dies to the red buff. Kuro gets a trade kill on Haru. Three kills to the Rango. And Ruler is probably furious that Haru stole all his kills. 25 minutes, Keen completes an ill-advised TP and gets run down by three KSV members. That turned into a Baron and KSV quickly turned that Baron into two inhibs. Pushing for the third in the top lane. Desperation engaged for Afrika. Nice stun by Tucson, but the damage just isn't there. Crown disengages with the Emperor's Divide. Ruler cleans up with a double and KSV steamroll through Afrika's base. Well, that was anticlimactic. 
The Freaks were one auto away from 2 owing this series, but end up dropping it in three. Haru gets MVP honors. He finished 8-2-7 and seven in two games after subbing in for Ambition. KSV somehow move themselves to 3-0 on the LCK season. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more esports content.